Hey, half a year ago or something I built this thing to map um, our harbor because I sailed our tiny sailboat on the ground because the water disappeared like we were low tide and uh, anyway so um, I built this machine to map the water depth of our harbor and then I did that and built this map from it and then I decided to map a part of our river there just for fun because I knew that there was some kind of a sandbank and I never really knew where it was and the maps are not really precise enough for that so I built this, uh, the, this other map and then I told some people about it and they asked me if I want to map their harbor and this is what I'm doing here. So I started, like, it was the beginning of February or something, so we had minus two degrees, I had ice on the boat, and it was pretty cold. So this is when we made the first measurement for the comparison, because um, they wanted to have two measurements, because they wanted to have one before and one after the digging or flushing, because uh, the harbors in these areas tend to sand up pretty fast, because we have pretty high tidal changes and the river is pretty st uh, deep. Um, so every one or two or three years they have to dig out the harbor like one or two meters. And they wanted to have two measurements one and before to have a comparison uh, and a map of this change after the digging. And after the first data collection I ran all my raw data that I collected with the boat um, through my Python script and generated this map from it. And when we wanted to do our second mapping survey um, the echo load failed. So I went back into the workshop, repaired the electrical stuff and then decided, because we had one more week to do the next measurement, to build this hydrodynamically more suitable shape for the echolote finder. Before I had this problem that the round tube um, for the echolote always sucked air down to the echolote finder and when it does that, the echolote finder doesn't receive the echo back and then I don't have measurement and then I lose measurements and this is pretty annoying, especially in higher waves and everything. To create the shape I used OpenSCAD, which is a pretty cool scripting language to describe 3D models and from there I could create this Naka profile, put it in FreeCAD and yeah, from there created the uh, files for the CNC machine. And to build this I CNC machined uh, two plywood sheets um, in a Naka profile and put uh, styrofoam pieces on top and then laminated two layers of glass fiber epoxy on it, sanded it down and um, yeah, I think the surface is okay and not perfect but for this purpose it's okay and it's waterproof and pretty durable. And because I was a bit tight on the time frame I had to do the second layer of the laminate on the day we wanted to do the mapping. Uh, the second mapping, so I had to build this tiny oven with this uh, heater to um, speed up the um, hardening process of the epoxy. And it actually worked pretty good. Uh, and I think it took like three or four hours to be like 90% hard, but when we got into the water, it worked. And then later, we had pretty high tide, as you can see here. So um, we had to figure some way out to get the boat into the water because the ramp was flooded and we had to put it over a fence. And we had also pretty strong winds and it was pretty cold and it rains from time to time, so pretty annoying uh, condition spot. The tracking thing worked pretty well. As you can see, there is no like air sucked down to the echo finder. Um, but the uncool or the unpractical thing with this is that it is basically a pretty large rudder or fin underwater so going in curves or diagonally with the boat is kind of tricky but I think the idea works and we got all the measurements and it worked flawlessly and I built the second map and got the comparison and everyone is happy so everything's cool and I think the idea worked and as always the code and everything is in the description it is a, a github repository with all the scripts for the rendering and also i think a small schematic um, so you can build yourself and if you like this leave a like or a subscription and if you have any questions or ideas what to improve leave a comment so thank you bye